600 more damage from the R2. Welcome to my Madras Giggle Guide, where you will learn how to use the Madras Whistle with a giggle. I love Madras Whistle as much as everybody else. The usual way of using the Madras Whistle is just to get out of a home's way. You just backstep out of it. You just walk out of it. A lot of people frantically roll out of it. And when they do, they basically spoil all their chances to land any form of damage while the, the target is up in the air, unable to defend. But, with a ravioli step out of it, you can do a lot of things. You can also do a lot of things without ravioli stepping, just locking out and backstepping, by the way. But the ravioli step gives you this extra level of protection while you walk away, you get out of harm's reach, and that gives you this extra layer of protection. You can do it with pretty much any weapon I can think of. Let's get into it. Against your basic Tumerian dude, you just lock on, backstep, and shoot. It works every time. Of course, what works with a normal gun works with the cannon as well. Just hits harder. Boom. Of course, you do not have to always lock on. If you are unlocked, you just turn around, free aim, and shoot. With the cannon, works every time. Of course, I your imagination is the limit. You can just do whatever you want. Models of cocktails were great. Other arcane tool work absolutely great as well. Just figure it out. But the real damage obviously comes from following up with hitting with your weapon while the target is still up in the air, unable to defend. R1, R2, anything. Now the real luxury is to do the ravioli step so that you remain unlocked, because that gives you this extra edge about mobility and. It's also looking better. What can I say? You can notice that you have an extra splash damage on the Madras Whistle, that is known. It's 1350 points of damage and then an extra 79 right there before the R2 hits. And it's the same every time. You have this splash damage that registers just before you hit with your R1, your R2, and that happens regardless of the weapon or if you shoot. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but sadly that doesn't work on everything. Um, it seems that the heavier targets, like the Labyrinth Sages, the Snatches, um, are completely immune to it. Which makes sense, because it's like they don't, they don't go as high as the others, so attacking with your weapon, shooting, cannon, nothing helps it's like they they have like an immunity hitbox and they cannot be affected by anything you do regardless of what you try i've tried everything so that's kind of sad but the real sad news is that well the watchers are also completely unaffected by that but that would actually be expected because look they barely they don't really they, they go high but they come back down super fast much faster than the others so it's not the height it's actually the timing of elevation that changes <laughs> now the hunters yes the NPC hunters are completely immune to everything you can think of with the giggle Madras effect um, yeah I tried everything it never ever worked and sadly well, sadly, players are also completely immune to it, just as hunters are. That's just, there's nothing you can do. But, there are some good surprises. Who would have thought that the beast-possessed soul would actually be a perfect target practice for the Madras giggle effect? Well, there you go. Anything you throw at it, it's basically, either it works or it doesn't. Uh, it works entirely or it doesn't work at all so 
yeah, you can just do whatever you want. It goes up. You attack with your weapon, with your cannon, with your gun. Just, just go at it. The advantage is that this little extra delay gives you so much more damage. The DPS, especially with a, uh, a Shikage, with the, the, the rapid poison effect, is really, really good. So, yeah, just enjoy. Now, I haven't tried every single mob in the game, obviously. But um, rejoice, um, the Brain Sucker is one of the mobs that is a perfect subject for the Madras Giggle effect. Like, like the Beast Possess Soul, everything works. You can shoot it with your gun, with a cannon, with your weapon, R1, R2, ravioli, locked on. You call it. It is, um, it is up to you. It's just how you prefer to play. Now the good news is also that while this works on the mob version that you find roaming in a chalice dungeon, it also works on the boss version. So uh, the Beast Boss's Soul or the Brain Sucker, when you actually try to torture them with this sort of um, shenanigans that are, let's just agree on it, completely useless. It's just a satisfaction because you know why. <laughs> why not? Um, it also works on the boss version, so here you go. You get like this boss flying up in the air and taking basically half of the of its life away in just uh, one Madras giggle and uh, BMA buffed church cannon shot. Boom! I hope you enjoy. Bye.